Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. The sixth episode of Ben 10, Taurus Trap, has a lot to offer, from a prankster villain to good old fashioned science. The episode has Ben and family heading to Sparksville, which seems to be the most boring Taurus Trap imaginable. I mean, they have a huge introduction for the world's largest ball of rubber bands. Of course, you think Ben would have learned by now that what seems boring at first often hides something sinister below the surface. Although in this case, it's less sinister and more extreme pranks from the town's resident alien trickster, Megawatt. I'm not entirely positive how it got trapped, but when Ben and Gwen, et to Gwen, release it, the episode really gets fun. This episode seemed like a throwback to the early days of animation with another dangerous trickster, the Gremlin, who would often mess with planes. In this instance, the Gremlin is an electrical alien that looks more like a battery than anything else, but the concept remains the same. Since the anime this time around is not as physically intimidating as previous foes, until Act 3's giant planetarium fight, a lot of the episode is focused on trying to contain Megawatt or survive his idea of practical jokes, which is honestly a nice change of pace with all the previous episodes involving fisticuffs. And as comical as this little alien gremlin was, the real comedy delight of this episode had to be the mayor of Sparksville, Earl, with his incredibly deadpan reaction to everything around him. Is it just me, or is there a lot of excitement today? Another difference this episode has on the others is Gwen's involvement in not only freeing the villain, but also helping out quite a bit more than before. To be fair, her first idea releases dozens of megawatts, but her heart was in the right place. That has to count for something, right? No? Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> As I said, there was quite a bit of science in this episode, from trapping the megawatts underground using a thermometer, or sealing them in a non-conductive prison like a giant fishbowl. In an age where a lot of what happens in cartoons relies heavily on cartoon logic, it's nice to look back and find some real science being used. Or, at worst, pseudoscience. In conclusion, this to me was a great episode full of fun comedy moments and some inventive, out-of-the-box thinking on the part of our protagonist, and who doesn't love to see their favorite characters acting intelligently. Those were my thoughts on this episode, now let me hear yours in the comments below. Thanks for watching, take care.